Netflix implicitly proves Sussex is zero talent. Harry and Meghan go into creative bankruptcy. Hello friends, welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. A PR specialist claims that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have suffered as a result of the failure of their new Netflix series in terms of viewership. The pair both appeared in and executive produced the show. On social media, an American public relations specialist going by the handle Royal T tweeted, Strangely, despite the Sussexes' relationship with the Mandela Foundation, and the outstanding roster of influential figures engaged, Live to Lead has received relatively little press attention and marketing. The witless pair have their names attached to their betters again in Live to Lead, but it seems forced and contrived when it's already known they didn't interview anyone. All they are is the mouthpiece. This desperate clinging to successful and interesting people won't work, Neither of the dull duo is successful or interesting, and they couldn't lead a band. I wonder if Netflix is sick of them and is taking them down a few pegs. Added Royal Tea, one of the first commercial tests of their brand strategy to draw viewers in with personal drama and hope they stick around for the altruism is being conducted here. It failed to get into the top 100 TV series due to a lack of organic press coverage, little to no PR, and a release on a Saturday or holiday. It seems like a pointless project that is being managed only to complete a contract the way it is. Maybe before the end of this year, they have to complete a specific amount of Netflix projects. One thing is certain, Sussex will suffer because the name doesn't attract views on its own. Harry and Meghan haven't had any new business deals since the Oprah interview almost two years ago. The Netflix, Spotify, and book deals all predated it. So there is a very good chance no one wants to work with them, regardless of what they may or may not have left to sell. That lie fest cost them far more than they will ever admit to. Proof of this fact, all they ever amounted to were a couple of titles and nothing else. Netflix, Spotify, and publishers now know the score. No substance, talent, or inspiration, and after three years of moaning, no credibility, and plummeting popularity, now viewed negatively worldwide. The humanitarian goals they claim to have are simply fake, while the deluded pair think they have the qualities to be global leaders. I think they live in a bubble. Projects like Invictus are overshadowed completely by their continual self-promotion and victimhood, while they remain intent on thrashing their families. Predictable, ridiculously boring, repetitive moaning just puts people's backs up, and no amount of PR is going to alter that one. Most can read them now like a book. Harry and Meghan are now well exposed as being frauds. Their docuseries was made over a long period of time some of which were made when they were working royals. To do this, they had been taking pictures and footage at the palace without permission. That alone, never mind the accusations of bullying royal aides, would have been a red flag for the royal family. Can the gruesome twosome keep this act up forever? Certainly looks like it. They refuse to take their toys and go home. The announcement that old Meghan will now pen her memoir is laughable. Time to cut the cord on the couple. They will forever be dangerous, and their mere presence near family members is something the palace needs to be concerned about. Traitor Harry and mocker Meghan are so desperate to establish their own dynasty, they are so deluded it will never happen. Our late queen had dignity, was well-versed in many topics, and was never known to badmouth anyone. Above all, she was well-loved and respected. The rotten-to-the-core deluded nasty two in the U.S. could never be even close to our late queen's standards. Americans don't care about the royal family or Meghan and Harry's success because of that family. I believe he realizes that when it's over and will try to come running back, 
Meghan is not famous because of her acting, but she married Prince Harry, who is famous because his father was a prince, now a king. He is not well-educated and has lived off his family name. The bubble has grown to a size where it's got to burst. Wait until Netflix find out that Harry and Meghan held back details from the podcasts they were contracted to, so they could release more explosive so-called truths in the new book. Don't think the Netflix paymasters will be happy to see others gaining from something they believe they paid for. So watch one of the big paymasters turn on these two. When it happens, it will start a flood. And maybe we can return to reporting real news. The latest sop to the woke radical left in the States, narrated by the evil Sussex as a last-minute insertion to try and drum up interest, will fail miserably for the simple reason that Americans, like Britons, are not as majority interested in this one-world globalist crusade led by the WEF to remove from us our freedoms and security. Even the Marxist Prime Minister of New Zealand, Ardern, has distanced herself from the evil Sussex on this project. The Toxic Two have made the Sussex brand toxic themselves. No matter how much royalty they hang on to, or even want to be the unobtainable king and queen, their demeanor and faux entitlement have been the reason, yet surprisingly they are unable to see or comprehend the fact. Hurt is something that they seem to insist on dishing out, but are slow to recognize its effect on others. As for philanthropy, they have a foundation, financed by other people with a minimum of 5% of those funds going to causes and a maximum of 95% that can be spent on salaries and expenses, such as private flights and posh frocks for dubious award ceremonies. Oh dear, such a shame. Perhaps Netflix will ask for their money back. All the two money grabs seem to do is take what's been done and put their names to it. Is it a wonder people are distancing themselves from Harry and Meghan? Why isn't Oprah Winfrey assisting them anymore? Has she had an epiphany and realized their bad news? They didn't even use their own home for the Netflix program. It wasn't good enough for the public to see. They used a more expensive one. Toxic hypocrites, both spoiled brats, blame everyone else for their own failings. Sick of them and their moaning, whining, whinging, pseudo so-called family rift. The only product they have to flog to Netflix is family disunity. Beyond that, they are talentless, unemployable nobodies. What do you think of Harry and Meghan's despicable talent in their own business? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.